teammates, friends, and as Eric Spolstra has preached many times to them, a band of brothers on the court. But that strong bond extends off the court, and it's not just an act. The Heat preach family first, and that family includes everyone in the organization. I mean, it starts at the top, you know, Chris, Pat, uh, Marilyn and Mickey, you know, they they foster the family environment and, and it trickles down to where we, we have a team full of guys that put family first. Uh, it's a true brotherhood on the court and it's a, a family off the court. Few places is that bond more evident than at the various events players attend together. I will be sure that the ladies just like you. From singing karaoke at Shane Battier's charity event. I'm ready for a birthday party. What's this? To attending each other's birthday bashes. Love you. Happy 29th birthday party. And the annual Heat Family Festival. It's that festival where not only players, but longtime season ticket holders. Wow, woo, good job. And even the media get to bring their families together. While being close doesn't always equal wins for the Heat. It's part of the formula for success. You hear it a lot now in pro sports organizations. They'll talk about it. Uh, the Miami Heat, uh, we live it. Uh, and the players hear about it uh, around the league. We have a, a great reputation for that. And then when they actually get to be a part of our organization, they feel it immediately. Um, and it's different. And it all starts at the top. He, President Pat Riley says he made it a priority when he arrived in South Florida. You got to do a little bit more than just play on the court. And so, you know, the whole family thing, well, that's, uh, it sounds nice and cuddly and cozy, but it's real. It's truly real, and I think it, it manifests itself also out on the court.